a high velocity kinetic rifle attachment for the RMD. Yes, please, we get a gun for our arm? Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Lenscap, and welcome to another episode of Eden Star. Um, I, uh, I want to talk about a couple of things. As you can see, I'm, I'm in a building. Uh, this is a building that I built, and uh, I filmed it, and the video got corrupted, so unfortunately, I don't have any way to publish it for you, so that kind of stinks. Um, we talked about a lot of cool things, too. We built a building, we, um, we talked about the new update, so, man, you guys missed out. <laughs> um, that's okay. We're going to recap all that stuff real quick, and then uh, I think we're going to do a little bit more building. Um, I actually took another day in Eden Star and just went and collected a bunch of resources uh, because I didn't want, you know, to have two videos up in a row of resource collection. So what I might do is uh, collect resources one day and film the next day and then resource day and film day or have a resource day every now and then uh where i don't actually accomplish anything but gathering resources uh because that part is boring to watch probably unless we have uh you know something neat to talk about which we were talking about the update while we were doing it last episode so or the one that got corrupted uh so it wasn't like super boring um, but anyway so let's talk about this update so eden star has uh, has released an update and uh, they've added a bunch of really neat things um, that I want to talk about. So the first thing, ah, that's, that's so bright. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is what we built this building around, which is our replication unit. So no longer, so it used to be uh, when you died that you could pick your Eden kit and just respawn your Eden kit. Uh, they have changed that. Now, if you want to respawn, you have to have a replication unit uh, to spawn at, which is a cool change. I like that. Um, uh, what else did they change? We have uh, an armory here now, which I haven't even opened yet. I was waiting uh, to do that with you guys, so we might do that today. We might build on the base some today. Uh, let's talk about the update, though, and see how we feel. <laughs> um so what else did they add? They changed, uh, oh, Persistent Pioneers is another thing they added. If you've ever played Ark Survival, then you'll be uh, familiar with this concept. Um, basically, it means when you log out of the game, uh, your player is still, is persistent. So you're still, you're still there. Now, this isn't going to affect us very much since we're playing single player. Um, if we aren't playing, then the world doesn't exist. So... But if we were playing on a server with other people, uh, which I would love to, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Star Squadron guys, if you're watching this, buy this game so we can play together. <laughs> um, then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're playing uh, with other people, then you, you got to make sure that you're in a safe place when you log out, such as inside your base. If you log out, out in the wilderness, you're likely going to die at night. Um, and then you'll wake up and have to respawn and if you don't have a replicator pad you'll have to spawn in the wilderness uh i guess if you can respawn i don't know i haven't died yet um well that's not entirely true but we'll get to that in a second as well um the third thing they've added is the juggernaut um along with several bug fixes but they uh they added the juggernaut which is a giant alien that encounters you or that you encounter once your base is large enough which, by the way, just having this small little building here means the aliens attack me a lot more. Um, but the Juggernaut uh, assaults you once your base is large enough. And uh, he is their first attempt at a multi-phase or multi-stage uh, encounter. So if you're familiar with games like World of Warcraft, uh, they're big on multi-stage encounters. So, like, the boss fights in World of Warcraft. So, I, I would hearken the Juggernaut as, like, the first boss uh, that they've put in in this game. Um, but, basically, he's this giant bug thing that is really heavily armored and, like, charges, does this charge attack at you. Now, we are not well geared enough to encounter one, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to fight one eventually. Uh, but the way the encounter works is you basically shoot him until his armor falls off, and that reveals weak points. And you can shoot him in the weak points and kill him. Uh, but he will wreck your face. Uh, he is built around several pioneers um, encountering him at once. So, 
Uh, be aware of that uh, if you're going to fight him. He uh, He's supposed to be really crazy strong. Um, they also did some changes with loot packs and stuff. Uh, apparently, if you die, you drop a loot pack and um, so that you can recover your drops. Um, now, I have done some testing and uh, have not encountered these loot packs. I've not been able to recover anything ever. So that's interesting. They also changed the wall running a little bit, so it's supposed to be easier to wall run uh, intentionally and harder to wall run accidentally. Uh, they were apparently getting a big complaint where people would wall run into the void <laughs> um, on accident and die there. Um, they changed the loot packs. I mentioned the loot packs because they now will drop the loot pack at the most recent safe or a recent safe area you were. So like for example, if we were standing here, uh, and let's experiment with this real quick, we're going to save our game in slot two and uh so if you wall run then yeah and i missed it i wasn't able to so we jumped off the edge and fell to our deaths into the void now we got this pioneer deceased uh screen um and we should be able to respawn now at our base and there should also be a loot pack yes yeah, see here's our replication unit so we can respawn here so let's deploy. Now we should have a loot pack that has our pistol in it, or at least our armor. And look, I think that's it actually down there. Yeah, that's it. That's got to be it. So it is completely unreachable by us. Um, not if we want to be able to get it back. So that's kind of a bummer. It did spawn down in the void area. So that's something I, I think they still need some work on. Um, they changed the loot packs a little bit so that they don't aren't affected by gravity as much. Uh, previously, if you like died on a hill, then it would roll randomly down the hill all crazy, and uh, it'd be pretty impossible to find. This is actually the first time I've in in testing this that I've even seen the loot pack spawn, so that's cool. We're actually going to go ahead and load that save we just made though, um, because that was a testing thing. Actually, before we load it. Let's see if we can't get this wall run to work right. Ah, okay. So, here's what it is. Uh, you have to be sprinting. You have to be holding the sprint button. Um, and then, from my understanding, if you release the sprint button, then you stop your wall run. So, let's test that. And then we let go of sprint. No, we're still wall running. So, maybe you have to jump off of the wall. Yeah, okay, so if you jump away from the wall, you can stop your wall running that way. So actively sprinting, you have to jump and hold the sprint button as well as the jump button. So I'm holding the space bar, which, let's see, if we let go of the space bar, oh, that time we just climbed up the wall. So if we let go of the space bar, we still run. Okay, so you just have to keep holding the sprint button until you start running yeah once you've started your wall run you can let go of any buttons you're holding except for the forward button let's try that yeah, too that's a very cool mechanic uh but we don't want to lose yeah that. no so you so can let go, go of all buttons once you our start save wall and so uh, that's let's work on our base a little bit i think we should work on our base some all right so we've loaded our save it looks like every time we load in we'll be at this deployment screen for now uh okay there we go <laughs> that was strange um and we've got that bug where we don't have uh where the rocks respawned because we loaded in um it looks like the terrain is still loading a little bit too yeah there it goes um but let's work on our base some uh i i gathered a bunch of materials and I stored them in this lockbox. Um, I have two generators now. Oh, I, you missed this too. Our eating kit uh, got upgraded. So let's actually upgrade it again. I should have enough materials to upgrade it again anyway. So let's grab some things. I really wish you could shift click these into your inventory. So let's just grab a bunch of stuff. Um, I might need more ceramic for this. But we'll try it. Um, to upgrade your eating kit, so you walk up to it and you hit I. See where it says activate eating kit menu. So you walk up to it and you hit I. And this is our eating kit menu. If we do upgrade eating kit, um, you see I did one. And we meet all of the requirements. They're in the bottom right um, to upgrade it again. 
Now, every time we upgrade it, it adds uh, an increased amount of power and a larger shield radius. Um, you can see by default, it gives you 200 power and 30 meter radius. Uh, the current iteration we have gives you a 40 meter radius, 40 meter radius, and 300 power. This next update gives us 500 power and a 50 meter radius, and the final update gives us 60 meters and 800 power. Um, for that, we need micro crystals, which we can craft uh, in the foundry thing, the armory. But let's go ahead and uh, upgrade the eating kit so we get more power. Now you can see it's green, and our radius is bigger. Uh, if you can, yeah, you definitely can tell that it's bigger. Now, the radius doesn't really matter to us because we've got the whole island covered now, but the extra power is so sweet. Um, one thing, okay, so one thing I want to change with our building design. Let's take a look at the building and see how I've designed it. So I used the rounded corners because I thought they looked cool. Um, I did have originally the whole building with these ironite arch corner. Um, because I thought it looked the coolest. Having that rounded roof was going to be neat. But uh, first of all, there's no arched door. So the door had to be square. So I made the front two things square as well. And that works out pretty well, but uh, I figured out that you cannot place, like, if we want to put down another turret, we can't put it on these arched things. It can only go on the flat ones. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is uh, change these all out for flat and maybe put some more turrets on the roof of this. Now, we don't necessarily need the extra turrets right now. Um, but they can't hurt for sure. We have a missile turret in the middle. So what I'm thinking we'll do is, um, let's, I'm thinking we'll do, I grabbed a bunch of ironite because I figured we'd use it for turrets. Um, I'm thinking we'll do, uh, auto turrets on the corners and the missile turret in the middle. And then if we need more, then we can add like shock turrets or something. And how's our power looking? So if we, we have 850 power uh, available to us. So we may need to build a, if we add more turrets, which I think we're good for now, um, but if we add more turrets, we will need to build more generators. So maybe we make a generator building pretty soon. We'll put it over there-ish. Uh, we'll have to put turrets on top of it and stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and reclaim these walls. And uh, let's go ahead and reclaim these walls and build new, build new walls. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and reclaim these. Now I wonder. Okay, it's going to reclaim the fortification on the outside, and then the wall itself. So that's interesting. But we can go ahead and place the new wall as well, since we've got it selected. And the walls are cool. They're uh, they're they're relatively modular. So you've got like uh, you've got the wall, which has an internal like fortification. You can see, and then on the outside, it's just kind of this shiny foil thing. And I don't know if the different like wall materials look different. I don't think they do currently, but I do know that they plan on implementing different levels of walls, like different looking walls later. Uh, but actually, I did uh, accidentally build my walls out of ceramic before, and they did all look exactly the same. So um, there is no visual difference between the, the walls currently. But we can go ahead and place our walls down. Now, I want to use the curved ones, but I, I like having the windows. So we're going to leave the windows. Oh, can't get there from here. So, come on. There we go. So there's all of our walls. Now we want to go to the modifications section, and we'll build the armor on it. Now, you can see automatically it's got us selected with a bridge man type, but we, want, we for sure want ironite fortifications. So let's plop all those puppies down. And then we can add uh, the ceilings and stuff. Um, another good reason to, to alter the ceilings like this is uh, are the lights. 
So the lights wouldn't work on the rounded uh, or on the um, like the curved edges either. Um, so that's interesting, but we can add the lights uh, now. We Now that we've got flat areas, we can add the lights to those. So the, I found the easiest way to place the ceilings is to actually look at the floor underneath where you want to put it. Now I don't think that added properly for us. So... If you hold the click and drag your mouse around, you can adjust the the angle of the of the ceiling tile. So let's let's remove this one and, and try this again. Um, we want that. We want it like that. Okay, and then we'll just put the flat ones in the gaps. Now these we don't need to adjust, so we can just kind of plop them down. There we go. Now, currently, let's hit Q so we don't get that weird overlay. Currently, we've just got the one light in the middle of the room. I feel like that's enough for now. Uh, I feel like that's a bright enough light. What we may do, though, can we reclaim just the window? Oh, I destroyed the turret as well. Oops. Uh, that's okay. Let's, let's put the ceiling back. And I wanted to put lights differently. Uh, now that we have the space available, I want to do lights like this. Like that. That way our room is a little more illuminated. Um, I think that works out a little better. Can we put the lights... Oh, we can on the curved areas as well. Um, and do we bother to put a light in the middle? I think it's fine without it. Uh, the doors work the same way. You select the, the walled opening that contains the door and just hit the door. Um, so there's that. Um, another thing they changed uh, in the update was they made it so that foundations... Uh, we're just going to place this one and completely remove it. So let's use uh, fiber. Uh, but they changed foundations so you can adjust the height of them. So instead of just kind of placing it down, if you click your mouse button and hold, then you can drag it up out of the ground or sink it in further, which is nice. So I just uh, right-clicked to cancel that. Um, apparently, you also can put the foundations on the side of a building. That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. And you can vault up these too. So we can do that as well. All right, we're going to need to place these turrets back. Now, here's the thing, since we got rid of that, do we want to do missile turrets, or do we want maybe... We can do four more auto turrets. Maybe we just go ahead and put the auto turrets on the corners. And then, do we still have enough for a missile turret? We do, so let's do that. We'll place all the turrets. Awesome! So this building is properly defended and prepared for nightfall. Oh, another thing I wanted to see was, can I place this eating kit? Okay, I don't have the materials for it. What am I missing? Iron Knight, but I should have materials. There we go, for this. So it doesn't, I wanted to see if I could place it inside another bubble, but it seems like since there is a bubble already, I can't place it here. Um, I also wanted to know if I could place it on top of another structure like this. And I'm not sure if that's possible yet. We may have to do some testing outside of our base for that. Um, so we are getting attacked much more, much more frequently. Do we have any other options for... Uh, any other turrets that we can build? We can build two more auto turrets. I'm thinking we want to put one over here. And maybe over here. Now these will be become reclaimed. Aha, uh -huh. and now we are out of power. So we need to build a generator, another generator. Um, I don't know if I want to put it in this building right now. Hey. Open. Door open. No. I don't know if I want to put it in this building, because this building is already kind of getting full of stuff. If I can get into my building, that'd be swell. Please? Fine, I'll just 
destroy the door. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we got room for it, though. So let's go ahead and put at least one. And now I'm at a pro tonight to make another one. But we have enough uh, energy generation, though, that, uh, that will make it. So, okay, can I build my door back, please? Here's the door. Yes, I can. Uh, I don't necessarily want a tenel door. I would prefer an ironite door if possible. And I can't have that, so let's go ahead and build it. Okay, now it's working. That's weird. That was bizarre. Um, cool, cool, fellas. So we got a we got a decent we got a decent base going. Um, I would like to start on a second building uh, for generators, like I said, and and uh, probably what we'll do is build it over here ish. And fill it with generators. And uh, what what I think we'll end up doing is right now we've got one building that's kind of housing everything. But I think we may end up with like specific buildings. So there'll be like a storage building. Uh, this will probably be our replication building. Um, we'll maybe put a new building for the armory. Which, let's go ahead and check out that armory. So you access it the same way you do the eating kit. You just walk up to it and hit I. And this gives us all of our things that we can craft. So you can see in this window here, these are the things we can craft. And when we mouse over them, in the bottom right, it gives us the requirements for uh, you know what they require to make. So gunpowder, for example, we can go ahead and make five gunpowder. Um, if we want to make more bullets, I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, we can make various guns. Um, so it looks like the assault rifle is the next gun that it wants us to make because it just uses basic materials. Uh, but we would have to make ammo for it too, which I could make 30 rounds for the assault rifle. Let's think about this though. I'm not ready to make anything yet. Uh, pistol ammo, we get 36 or more rounds for the pistol if we make this. But let's see. We also can update our uh, gauntlet, the... Uh, the matter manipulation device so we can upgrade it as well so if we click on the on the actual like harness module which is what we've got um, if we click upgrade then it gives us more options so we can increase damage by of smash and these all require materials here too so we might do something like this floral deconstruction harvest more energy Ah, increases the range of it. That's useful. Energy drain. Okay, we can also adjust our melee weapon. Um, or, oh, okay, so this is an alternate melee weapon that we can build. This is a regeneration module. This lets us heal uh, our equipment. Uh, we're getting attacked. So, but we got lots of turrets, but I want to grab this. So I definitely want that plasma fire. Uh, we need that for gunpowder and stuff. Now that we finally have an armory and we can make it. Um, come on, baby, drop me some gunpowder. Yes! Yeah! That's what we want. We're up to five now. Yes! This is awesome. And as our base gets bigger, we'll encounter more bigger and stronger enemies. Okay, we were looking at the regeneration module. This lets us heal our equipment. Uh, so if our turrets get damaged or whatever, we can heal them with this. I think this is what we want to build next. Uh, we probably won't be able to do it now because we got to build all this other stuff and gather materials for that. But a high-velocity kinetic rifle attachment for the RMD. Yes, please. We get a gun for our arm? That's amazing. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do next, for sure. Um, we also can reconstruct the energy harness module if we accidentally delete it. I think we're going to do this next. Um, so we need magnetic alloy, polymer, and thermal compound. Let's see if we can make any of these things. We need 15 magnetic alloy. So we definitely can make those. Uh, that'll make us 12. That'll make us enough. That'll make us 20. Um, polymer, we need 10. This is polymer. Now we get two each time. Can we make five? The crafting queue is full, so we got to wait for these to finish. 
Two, okay. So they don't count until we grab them out. You can't shift click them out either. Uh, but that gives us 16 of those, so we need two, we need 10, four, six, eight. I'm out of ceramic. Okay, we'll have to go grab some more materials then uh, to finish this. I think what we'll do then uh, between now and the next episode is uh, I'll, I'll do the material gathering and we'll update our gauntlet at the start of next episode. So uh, maybe we'll even build the assault rifle as well and try and take out a hive. I think that would be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay, what else can we do? What else can we do? Can we Do we still have the materials to make this? We don't because we're out of ceramic. Um, what about pistol ammo? We can make more pistol ammo. Let's go ahead and make some gunpowder then. And then this will give us 10. Uh, so we should be able to make a bunch of pistol ammo now. Let's craft all of this that we can. Three more things of it. Nice. So now we have 126 rounds for our pistol. Uh... Whoops, does that include... Did that damage me? Oh, it did. Okay, I gotta be a little more careful about that. Um, does that include the rounds that are loaded in the pistol? Okay, that's a, that's a bug. Our pistol has no... Uh, has no... Thing. I was trying to look at my actual pistol. Okay, and now my hand is missing as well. I have feet. Okay, so our pistol is there. Okay, if I unequip it and then re-equip it. No, I still have no... Huh. I bet, uh, I bet logging out and back in would fix it, but I don't really want to do that right now. But let's go ahead and drop these things back off in our lockbox so they're safe. And I don't think we're going to get attacked again tonight. It seems like what happens is the aliens uh, prefer the start of the night to attack you. And then, can we split this? Oh, we can. I don't want to take all of my ammo with me in case we do die. I want to leave half of it in the chest. Um, all right, fellas. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure to leave a like if you like the video. Let me know what you think of the base. Um, oh, our pistol's back. So we've got 60 plus 12 and 60 in our inventory. So it does not include what's in the pistol. Nice. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, and we'll see you next time. Uh, I think next time uh, we're going to work on some upgrades for our kit. We're going to build the assault rifle and play with that. We're going to build the Gauss Cannon and play with that, hopefully, and uh, maybe we can assault one of the alien hives.